Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to show you how to put an analyzer and a polarizer on an Olympus BX41 microscope. This procedure would be the same on like the 51 or the 43, uh, so forth, so on. So you got your analyzer, your UANT, and you have your polarizer that fit on this microscope, but you have a five place nose piece. All right, there's no slot for the analyzer to go there. There's one of two ways you can do it. So you can use an Olympus U. KPA, and that intermediate piece will work as a riser as well as a analyzer holder. It would go right underneath the head, and then you put the head back on. It's really important to keep everything um, lined up when you're using an analyzer and polarizer. It just makes things easier. So just make sure those screw holes line up right there. Uh, then your analyzer. We'll slide in, we'll slide in, and then you have this little screw here that'll uh, keep it in the guide way so it won't, it'll hit the indentations properly whenever you're putting it front and back, okay? So once you put your analyzer in, the polarizer uh, we very simply just goes over the light source, and then you could rotate it across the poles. All right, the other way, if you don't wanna use this portion right here, is to use a nose piece with a slot. So you can use, a, if you only have four objectives, like a centerable nose piece. The most common one is a six place nose piece. Uh, you can use a seven place nose piece as well. So to do that, you take your wrench that's built in here into the microscope. If you've lost it, it's a three millimeter Allen wrench. So you just loosen that screw there, a little bit more. Slide that out on the dovetail. Move your objectives over to your new nose piece that you purchase. Then it slides right in. Just slides like that. Well, slides in and out. Then you wanna lock the nose piece back in. And that analyzer will go right in there. So once the analyzer's engaged and your polarizer's there, you can cross the poles. It's very simple and uh, you can see the, the crystals that you wanna see. You can also use, instead of this analyzer, if you're looking at gout, I wanna do um, uh, gout crystals. A lot of people use a U-GAN, a U-G-A-N. Uh, it's a very popular accessory as well. So you can find all those accessories at microscopemarketplace.com. Uh, you can email us if you have any questions at info, I-N-F-O, at Monday, M-U-N-D-A-Y, microscope.com. So uh, we look forward to hearing from you, and let us know if you uh, have any other videos you want to see, and we'll see you soon.